Hello everyone, and welcome to my next tutorial. In this one, you will learn how to do this. As you'll notice, the tank in the middle is following my mouse. And there's an object rotating around me for no good reason. Now, here's the really cool part. When I click the mouse, it shoots a rocket that goes, tries to hit the target. And I can shoot more. Much more. There we go. And it's kind of following the missile. Now, I will show you how to do that. Even though, unfortunately, some of it you need to have Pro Edition to use. So first I have to make my sprites. Here's the tank. Now, when you want the tank to, um, when you want something to turn towards it, it always has to be facing right for some unknown reason. Here's the mouse sprite. Here's the target, and here's the rocket, once again facing right. Now, the tank. Now, create. Set mouse, sprite 1, that's the uh, mouse sprite, and cursor don't show. Perfect. Now, step. Here's how you make it facing the mouse. Step towards mouse x, mouse y, speed 0.1. Solid only. Now, jump to given position. Jump to start. There we go. That way it won't move after the mouse. It'll just face towards it. Transform sprite. Angle direction. There we go. Now it'll face the right way. Global left press. Create object B, which is the object of the bullet, and relative. Set alarm 0 to 10. That way... I can um, do machine gun style, so I can so it'll keep shooting, but it won't shoot really fast. So, if mouse button is still being pressed, then create instance of object B bullet and set alarm to ten again. That way, it'll keep going. There we go. Perfect. Now for the target, it's pretty easy. Set path, speed five, continue from start. Now. The path I made over here, this is the path. Weird circle thing. So that's what it's following. Now for the bullet. Now create. Here's some variables that you need to set. Set variable direction to tank direction. So it'll be facing the right direction. Now set variable f, dire f direction. Value, valuable um, tank direction as well. You'll need both of those. Now set variable turn to zero. And set variable alarm to 30. So on the add alarm, set turn to one. And start moving it and stop. Okay. Now, in step, oh boy, this is complicated. Step towards target X, target Y, dot Y. Remember that dot, it's very important. Now speed, 0 0.1. That Once again, it's just to make it um, facing that direction. No, wait, it's not. Um, set, if F direction, um, set, oh wait, test variable. If it is smaller than direction, then set variable F direction to 4 relative, so it'll be hot, taller than. If F direction is larger than direction, then set variable f direction to minus 4 relative. And if an expression is 2, f direction is smaller than 0, then set f direction to 360. Now, this is what I'll move it. Set direction, speed of motion, f direction. Not direction, but f direction. Speed 7. Now, to make that cool effect of the um, rocket, you have to do spark, small, Relative and red. And then you want to do the exact same thing except for yellow. That makes it look like fire. And step, transform sprite, F direction. That way it'll be facing the right way. Now target. Collision with the target. Destroy self and other. That way it'll destroy the other thing. And it'll also create the target um, where you, um, back to the start position. And then, of course, it creates the explosion. There we go. 
and then you stick them all in the room and hit play. We're waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Ah, there we go. And now the tar and now you see once again how what I did. So the rocket's kind of following it, but not perfectly, because if it was perfectly, then it would be kind of impossible to miss, which is really annoying. Because then it'll turn on a dime, and you really don't want that. So now it is making a really cool rocket following effect. And an explosion when it hits it. Ah, let's see if I can hit it. Well, this concludes the tutorial. You can download the link to the right. And, uh, goodbye.